Check, check, check. One, two, three. Check, one, two, three. Check, one, two, three. Joey D, can you hear me? Are you with me? Mikey, can you hear me? Are you with me? Yeah, don't give me no check one, I can't two, hear three you. bullshit. Yeah, and now he can't, can't hear, hear you. Me. I, 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 you know, Bob, do me a favor, bro. Do me a favor. Just do me a favor. I know you can't. Just stop speaking. Oh, I don't don't ever, 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 ever criticize, make a comment or critique about anyone else's audio setup, logistics, timing, fucking nothing. This is got to be the most long-winded fucking figuring out. They figured out Disney World faster than they figured out Bob's studio <laughs> in his fucking <laughs> condo. It's disgusting. The lighting, the sound. This don't work. That don't work. Walt Disney had Pirates of the Caribbean up and running faster with animatronics in 1956 <laughs> than Bob's got in 2023. Check, check, this check, check disgusting. one, two, three. Yeah, check one, two, three. Are you with me, Mikey V? Yeah, I'm I just see you. that somebody decided to show up after their bye week. Yeah, bye week, my <laughs> balls. Episode did fucking major numbers. Hold on. We need to, let's discuss that right out of the gate. First off, clap yeah. it up. Clap it up. We're excited to be here. We're, Joey D, what do you want? Do you have a bet on something? Don't don't worry about it, Bob. Joe, yeah, he's have, not. Like, head no, is not I, in the game right now episode. for Joe. Well, I'm sorry, that I is... didn't have a chance to fucking say a word that uh, between the check one two threes and Mikey blowing off the rails right out of the gate. Joe, I was am I wrong? Quietly. Am I wrong? I'm not Joe? saying you're wrong, but for once I was quiet, just listening aside, and I, I'm 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 getting called out for doing for not being. No, vocal. no, no. I'm just saying. I just hope you don't, don't have a bet on the game because out. if you have a bet on the game, the show suffers. And a a. Just That's because you're a, you're a, um, instrumental part to this podcast, and B, you also just don't pay attention if you have a bet on the game. Do you have a bet on the game right now? Don't don't worry about it, Bob. I'm here. I'm I'm what ready. By the way, by the way, I on, man. We're I was the middle of July. Wimbledon's yeah. over. Yeah, what a match that was! Wow. Yeah, that was yeah. amazing. I told I, you I'm that here. guy was going to beat him, Joe. I told you. Well, he's also the number one ranked in the world, Mikey V. It's not like you picked a, yeah, a dark but, horse from the no, fucking no, analysts. But, yeah, but he wasn't the fa- he wasn't the betting favorite, Joe, before the tournament. No, started. I know you did. You did. You did call that. You, uh, the guy's good, man. He won the U.S. Open last year, and the guy's really fucking good. I mean, he, they call him the next Nadal. Joe, what could you? But seriously, though, I'm honestly asking, what could you possibly have a bet on right now? I didn't say I had one. What are you watching? <laughs> Why are you being so weird about yeah, it? Yeah, what I'm is, not being weird. What Why the fuck you are you watching? Something is, something is off. Something is not. I right. know. I don't like this. What are Joe, you? Joe, what's going on? I'm. I There's noticed not, it right away too. There is usually you come in. You're laughing. You're. You would. I would have got a lot more belly laughs out of Joe with the rant. I, I actually. Went on. I Something's actually, going on. Nothing's going on. I yeah. think it was a very valid statement out of Mikey V. No, but- I'm, I'm kind of adjusting because Mikey's got like this reddish hue to him. He kind of looks like he's got like a tan to him. You look good. But but Joe, seven, but, seven days on the beach, I should but, have a tan. But we like. <laughs> you found you like you fucking never left. But, but it doesn't answer the question, wish. Joe. What are you watching? Bob, I am looking at the fucking screen for the love of Christ. Oh, I know. I don't why understand. Are you being- I looked away for a second, and I'm getting, you know. But, but, what's, but, what's but, no, but you were acting very strange about it when no, I asked. No, I wasn't, just because I sat there quietly for 30 seconds while Mikey went on a tirade, and you check one, two, three, your way into the fucking podcast for the 50th <laughs> fucking time. <laughs> now I'm the one who's getting called out. For once, I sat here patiently, quietly waiting my turn, and I and, and it always comes back to me. You guys excited Are you happy to be here? Now? I'm very excited. Let's clap it up. Let's have a good episode well, this week. Let's have a good episode. Come on. Clap it up. Excited to see you guys. Mikey V's back from his bye week, which is spectacular. Um, There's a lot to discuss. There's a lot to discuss here on the Real Only Dumb Show today. Um, My hair is all over the fucking place here. This is bad. should have worn a hat. I'm you wanna, a hat. Do you want to take the time get to get a hat? hat? Go, ahead. Go, get Go get a hat. hat. Go get a hat. What the fuck is going on here, man? I don't know. Something, if... Something's off with Joe. I don't I know agree. what it is, but something's I agree. off. I agree. There he is. There he I is. There I he agree. Is. You ready, Joseph? Uh, I've been ready since the start, Bob. No, I'm I'm waiting, just, would, you just, would you just relax? I'm just asking you if you're ready to start the show. By the way, I'll tell you what. You know You know what I'm over, Mikey V, is getting, getting an invite and sitting there in the waiting room for 10 minutes yeah. every freaking time. Yeah. How about yeah. Joe? When we asked him, I said one fifteen start. He said Eastern or Pacific. One fifteen Eastern passed three hours ago, so it's not going to be one fifteen Eastern. 
Well, Bob, you know, it, it looks like it's 115 uh, a.m. in your fucking lighting yeah. because I couldn't yeah, see your face on the good. broad side still. of the moon. He looks like deep throat still. It's yeah, unbelievable. It looks, it, looks, it, looks like, it looks like he's doing, you know, the Batman <laughs> Returns featuring Bobby Berger as a new cape. Why don't Crusader? you just get a fucking ring light camera, Mikey, Bob? Why? You got to see the size of the of the light that I have in here. I can't I can't figure it out. It's that, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's that natural lighting from the slider. That's what's yeah. going on. No, I, I did it to help it because if I if I did if I put it down, then it's like the whole thing from last. I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. The it's whole place is problem. broken. Okay. The whole place is broken. Now here's the deal, Mikey. Sure is. Because we got into this this week. And what we had said is I said it was gonna be our worst episode yet. And you what you said to me was depending on i said that the episode from last week would have more views than the episode from this week whoever want whoever lost had to end up doing a food challenge okay mm -hmm. yeah. and i even said that it was a bad bet for you because i had a weak head start on you and no. right now no, that, no. yes i did no. and <laughs> now it's at the point where we got twenty thousand uh twenty one thousand views from the one prior and nineteen thousand from the one that we had just did yeah, and the, the one has 12 days. The other one hasn't even been up for a but week that, yet. But that's why I wanted to do the bet, and I stated that that it was a bad bet for you because I already had a head start, <laughs> and you didn't care. What? Bob, that doesn't really make sense. It Bob, makes Bob. no sense. It's another pretzel job. It's a it's classic class. Job. Yeah, it is. We're, let's what go you back got, to the tape. I, What you got to do. You go take, back to the tape. You got to get ticket to get the analytics, and you look yeah. where each one was after one at full One week. week. And if you well, look no, at but that, then. But yeah, but I to win. me, to I me, win. that's why I, I love win. the bet. That's I win. why I love the because you know the Bob, bottom line. Why would Mikey V make that bet? That's Bob, so stupid. I, Bob, I was Bob saying was it's so a dumb bet. Joe. Bob was so certain that last episode was going to be a clunker for whatever reason. He thought it was. Be, I knew it was going to be fucking gas. I knew it was going to be heat. Bob thought it was going to be a clunker. He doesn't want to eat his words. He doesn't want to bite the bullet. He doesn't want to do an eating challenge because he can't do an eating challenge. He's not oh. up to it. Oh. If you're not up to it, Bob, you're not up to it. Just say you're not up to it. It's Whoa. fine. I I knew I had a head start on the bet, and I okay. had stay and I had stated that that I knew that I would have a head start on the bet. Now here's the deal with the episode. If you still get the views when people come in. People that's come bullshit, in. Bob. No, no, that's I mean bullshit. it's true, but it, but, but it, oh, but it, oh, it, it doesn't really. It doesn't really matter. So now, we would have got the views no matter what. No matter what. What? Oh. What, what do you say? So we would have got the views no matter what. Is your theory? Is what you're saying? Two degree. Yeah, two wow. degree. I think maybe that's an insult. A, that's I an think, insult, well, that and I apologize. I apologize <laughs> to all the listeners and all the viewers. I apologize. Nah, that's an insult. I don't think that's fair. They would not be tuning in. They some, would not be look, viewing I, if we didn't bring the heat. I, I would think say there that. will be a little bit of a difference. The 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 episode that I'm shocked that didn't do well, and I don't I don't understand why I thought it was one of our best episodes was live I from know. Luna's. Yeah. How many numbers? What, what numbers did that do? It didn't do live, well. Live from Luna's was a was a, a nineteen k. I don't get it. I thought that was so good. You know what it was? A very short pod. We only ran it for forty minutes. Yeah. The other thing too is you can't write live on a podcast. Nobody yeah. wants to listen to a live like yeah. like a lot of the time these live podcasts they're they're like they're they're not the same as like a regular recording. So maybe a lot of it might have chased the title might have chased some people. If away. the thumbnail also maybe. maybe if the thumbnail was the three of us sitting together like that that actual photo of us sitting together where people could see we were physically together may have been a game changer also. But it was just the the logo backdrop. Now listen, I'm not an analytical YouTube guy. I'm not criticizing a, a ticket. I'm not I'm, at all. So don't please don't <laughs> twist it into that either. No, we're not. I'm just well, saying. Who said we're coming at ticket? Well, whoever does the thumbnails, I don't know who does the thumbnails. Oh, oh, it's okay. For the YouTube. I don't know. I but I'm just saying perhaps that would have, perhaps if people saw that, it would have been, but I don't know. I don't know. He knows more about YouTube a lot more than I do. I don't, I don't have, I mean, I do, but I don't really do it. I think what, what should happen is because all this bickering back and forth, I think you should both do a, the, the same food challenge together and see where you guys end up. Now, what I wouldn't mind doing, Mikey, is Joe, a unified. Joe, Joe. That's like that's like a lion against a squirrel. Well, I mean, no, but I'm <laughs> saying we could set an over under and how many more like hey, by hot the way, dogs or things Mikey Veal do okay. the, the bar. I'm not gonna by the way, I'm not gonna deny the fact after seeing I'm not gonna fight you there, Mikey. After seeing what you did to that burger challenge, I'll be the first to tell you I, I'm not sniffing that. I, I'm just I'm just not. 
after you saw me do the burger challenge, would you say that I'm one of, uh, in terms of amateur eaters, not professionals, not guys who get paid to do it, right? Yeah. Just in terms of amateur eaters, I have to be a top amateur eater. I would say. Well, in the state. I don't know though because I can't. We it's not like we watch amateur eaters on a regular basis. That's there's, true. There's yes. a lot of big boys out yeah, there. Yeah, there's Mike. not like a, a corn fairy tour for. <laughs> <eating>. <laughs> You know I tell you what, I mean? if there was, I probably would have got my pro card a while ago. Uh, Mikey, did I? But did I not give you your flowers about? I mean, no, did you I did. Not no, you rave did. Rave about no, the you fact did. of how unbelievable no, that was. No, you did. I thought we were past the food challenges. Honestly, I I, I agree. You did. You one hundred percent did. I just think after what you pulled off, I think a lot of people, including myself, want to see you. Yeah, look, it's easier easier for us to say. But, yeah, I mean, come on, you know, like I need. I, what do you think? I'm just gonna abuse my body physically like that for the for 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 what? There has to be. No, you do one every four I mean, months. That takes a lot out of me. Well, I think you year. got a lot of publicity out of it. I think it was oh, a really good yeah. PR. Yeah, I think it was a really good. Uh, how, PR. About, how about a split Mikey. live on Instagram, Mikey? Mikey. You're going to tell I'm me. I'm supposed to. Joe, so I went live with Bob, so I'm supposed to. That's the, that's my that's payment. That's a lot of for, followers. That's a lot, a lot of followers flowing in. Come on, guys. Come on. Well, this is yeah, amongst that's friends. Mikey, this what, was what, a friendly what, what, wager say, between there's friends. There's nothing wrong with that. You're saying thing. It's, it's, it's a big exposure. I think it is. I think it is big exposure for you, Mike. I'm I not actually saying tend anything to bad here. With that. I'm saying it's, it, gets you, it gets you on the board in front of 700 plus thousand faithful. You got a, a big pool to choose from. By the way, you know, this kid said to me yesterday, the nerve on this guy. I'm in the fucking airplane yesterday. And I, he goes, oh, you're really moving in the Instagram followers. You got 231 now. And I was saying to him, I was like, the difference between 200 and 300 is a big difference. He's like, I tell you what's a big difference. Moving from six, six really ain't that good to seven. I was like, oh, like, okay, Bob, you got six wow. and you ain't happy with it. I'll go fuck myself. That's over three times the amount of people that I have following. Wait, what happened? Uh, yeah. So you got to tell us, you, you couldn't have told the story worse. I mean, you really, from a standpoint of A, it's just not being true, and B, just how he does it. What do you mean it's not true? It's exactly true. No, I think everybody here watching the show right now is confused as to what you just said. I, I know confused. I am. I was there. I'm confused. And I'm confused. I was on the plane with Bob. Right. We were look. I was on my Instagram. He saw that I have two hundred and thirty-one thousand followers, right. which he, he he tried to pump my tires by, which I appreciated. No, it was and good. Then, I appreciated it. Okay. And then I said to him, I said, you know, the crazy thing is, is if you if you break the two hundred barrier into three hundred thousand followers, it's it's like a difference maker. I feel like it puts you. It's like it's it's like it's it's like a, a tier above. And then he turns around in the same breath and goes, I'll tell you what's a real tier above is going from six to seven. And I looked at him and I was like, I guess I'll just go fuck myself. Man. I didn't like he was like, you know, six really ain't that special. But when you got seven, I'm like, Bob, six is like three times it, what I've got. It it it, it came was a off. backhanded. No, but 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 yeah, I could see how it came off. I did not mean it like that in in any way, shit. And that's why when Joe started busting my balls, I was cracking up because I I didn't I didn't mean that at all, Mikey. Do you want to know? <laughs> I I didn't mean it like that. I could see why it came off like that. Do you want to know what this guy does uh, at the airport? Okay, and we no. talked about it a little bit prior. Do you know? You go traveling with him. First off. He's one of the loudest. He he doesn't change his voice from public or how he's talking now to when you're walking in the gate. Like he he keeps that same level. But the sickest thing about him, he was watching a Bob the Sports episode and he doesn't use headphones. So he normally I do, Bob. Normally I do. He was playing the episode out loud so that the people on the plane and and the flight trying to get more exposure to the channel bob bringing more exposure to the channel people are going to fucking hate us is what it's going to do i so, beg to differ so i watched the flight attendant go by and look at him the plane out loud and then they make announcement on the plane if you're using any cellular devices please <laughs> use head he doesn't use head is that one of the sickest things you've ever heard did you just forget your headphones? No, I gave the AirPods to Nicole to use to work out. And all I had is these big clunkers. And I tell you what, you, you can't walk around the airport with something like this on. You look obnoxious or you look like you're a rap artist because it, it, it's way too, they're hanging from your neck. So I just didn't bring them. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh, well, oh, you nailed that one, God. Bob. You nailed that one right on the head. Hey. Now, I would like to know what it is. Now, would... now a lot of people, oh, I don't know the audio, but Joe just went crazy. It's a baseball game. Somebody went yards. Let's his... go! What, okay, happened, what happened, Joe? What bet do you have on the game? You see how upset he gets with me? And the reason he got upset is because it was true. What, what bet do you have, Joe? Over nine and a half. In the Rays <laughs> Royals game, Dude, guys, we wrong, dear guys, and actually, we the over. He's actually one of the sickest human beings I have ever encountered. Well, in my in my, Bob, in my defense, we were supposed to run the pod tonight. Okay, so well, I was not prepared. That, don't bring that into it, though, Joe. That's no, not... because I no, because I you make it sound like I I places no one we were doing a one fifteen pod start time, and that's not the case. So That's not the, the Rays, case at all. The Rays game would have been over by now. You yes, been... yes, it's the seven. It's the eighth inning. Yeah, I mean, it's still going to take a little bit more, even with the pitch clock. It's uh, if we more. started at five p.m., it's two. It's it's it's. We would have been fine. Well, I mean, Joe... by, uh, as late as Bob was, we might as well have just started <laughs> at five p.m. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a sip of that coffee, Bob. Maybe that'll. Well, yeah, you can't even see what he's straight. drinking. It's so fucking black in there. It's it's like it looks like a nice cup night. of coffee. Looks like a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> Is it coffee, Bob, or tea? Perhaps coffee. All right, boys. I'm turning the TV off. It's off. Well, of course undivided... it's off. <laughs> That's why, Joe. It was so obvious that you were fucking clear in, as day. You, were in, you yeah, can't I mean, talk about something you have when you have it. It just completely. What, the was, what, were, what was so the number was nine and a half, but what was the total at when we started the pod? Six. Oh, that's why. Now they just hit. It. So, yeah, that's exactly why. He seven, needed eight, the three-run dinger to even. I mean, that, that that's why. Because he thought it was a loser. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by our good friends over at BetterHelp.com. Life doesn't always go the way you want to. And it doesn't come with a user manual. So when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. That's why BetterHelp.com is here. BetterHelp.com matches you with a licensed therapist. They have matched over 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online, plus it's affordable, and you don't have to go to a doctor's office or go to some type of building. You could do it all from the comfort of your new home, of your home. You can't go wrong when you go with betterhelp.com. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash BDS. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash BDS, betterhelp.com. Change your life today for the better. Joe, That's I, a nice copy through, out there, though. That is, well, he's got the Dave Thomas Wendy's cup. Talk me through that order, Joey D. You know what this is? Coffee. No, it's a frosty chino, and it's fire, Bob. It's it's an iced coffee, and they put a little bit of the frosty in it. Wow, it's unbelievable! That wow. actually sounds sounds really it's good. So really it's good. like the frosty creamer they put inside. That actually and it's sounds believable. You yeah, know, Joe's good. introduced me to a a, a few things. Um, one of them being, I believe it's the affogato with the with the ice mm-hmm. cream in yeah, with espresso. the espresso yeah, yeah. was amazing. And then um, Profiteroles is another one that he gave me. The um, yeah, what is it? So good. Profiteroles. Profiteroles. Uh, Profiteroles is is one of my. If I see a. Pro- Have you had those, Mikey V? No. They're like cream puffs, but without cream. They're ice cream in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah. I've had them. So, they just, and then they're they, drizzled with chocolate on. Yeah, the they call them bonbons. And powdered or... sugar. Powdered yeah, some people, some like the last, the, the last one that I got, they they overdid the chocolate. It's so good as is the just a light light amount of chocolate. You don't need anything crazy. But Joe, talk me through that Wendy's order. I'm I'm curious. Um, I didn't do much today. I I've had I've had issues with the bowels the, since last night. So I went light. I did a um I did a crispy chicken. Um, sandwich and um, why, 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 you, I'm laughing about the bowels comment. I mean, I tell you what, I, I I came back. You know, have you? Has this ever happened to you? I might as well just say it. I don't care. You know, my life's already on the internet. Where you go and like you're doing something, and out of nowhere, yeah, you yeah. feel like you're gonna shit your. Pants. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I yeah. I came yeah. I came within. I, I'm not even joking. Probably 30 to 40 seconds of shitting myself yesterday coming back to the apartment to the point where I didn't even like I barely closed the door and I sprinted 
to the toilet. So, you know, that's, that, that's what I've been dealing with. And I'm, I, I, so I, I, I kept it light today. I did the crispy chicken sandwich. I did this frosty Chino and I did a small fry. No, oh, that's not, that's light work. Even, you know, who's losing their fastball is um I had Burger King yesterday. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah one, once, they, the once, they dropped the, once they dropped the chicken, that was, that was the end. <laughs> yeah. Mikey V yeah. was on a paid promo for that. That thing. was the, yeah. that was the, that was the end. I, I will Burger tell you King. though. I think their fries are good. I think their fries are, are, are underrated. I happen to like their fries, but I got a chicken sandwich. It, it, re- it was very lousy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all the I got. Chicken, the chicken was the best thing they had going. <laughs> and they, that's and all they I lost say. it. Now and then I was giving out heart attacks, Mikey V. It Joe, was, I had a I had a 30, I had a, an iced coffee at this diner we, we went to during vacation a couple days ago. And iced coffee was served in like a, a 32 ounce mason jar. <laughs> and we were, you know, I was sitting, my father-in-law was there, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, my kids, my wife, and uh you know, usually there's a little bit of, you know, d- there's a little debate about who's going to pay the bill. Yada, yada. I, I like to that. pay yeah. the bill. Yeah. Um, but I got an attack like that, Joe. And I was like, I don't give a fuck who pays this bill. I looked at Holly. I said, we're going right now. We're leaving. So someone else could pay this bill because I oh. got to go. I got to get out of here or it's not going to end well. It's, it's the and worst then, feeling in the however, world. However, when you finally make it cheek to seat, in a moment like that, Best. there is there are Harry few feelings Dumb of Dumber. relief like that. There is nothing really equatable. Well, this in was life such a close that. call that I it even took me like a minute just to regain my composure. Like, yeah, I still no, yeah, you're out of. I it was for still like a so scared at how close I came to yeah. shitting myself that it was like even by the time I was on the can, yeah, I, it took me like 15 seconds to realize I. You was kind of the- sit there and you laugh to yourself <laughs> like you just like accomplished something so great like that you can't even believe that you were able to do it. Like you just sit there. And I thank God, dude. Something. I had to drop my sister off yesterday. I was like, if this had happened. 10 minutes earlier i i legitimately do not know what i would have yeah, done yeah and that's those shits, <laughs> those are always those are some sloppy like they're always wet oh, except for a the thick worst. firm shit you know yeah, what i no, mean no no it's an explosion no way it's an explosion. Yeah. a lot of it's, times it's you find like yourself in the shower after coming out of the back end you have to you almost have to shower after that you you yeah. almost have to because you don't even want to get into what it's going to be like to do a full cleanup in aisle seven on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't um, imagine. Imagine living in a house. Where, imagine your kids in the bathroom while you have to. Oh my god! You better have a couple toilets. Yeah, yeah. I never thought like having like four or five bathrooms in in a house was relevant. I have until three last toilets night. in my house. Three. <laughs> there's always an open toilet. Always. Because there's yeah. there's four people living here and one of them still shits their pants. So there's <laughs> always an open option. It's amazing how you can fight your way always to usually to to get it to where you do get it to the toilet. Because like it is pretty amazing just like the mental battle that it takes <laughs> to get to that toilet. Because every time you go down, it's like, man, I didn't have one more second. But I almost feel like it's kind of mental to where you, you did have one more second. It's just as you get closer to the toilet. Oh, you're, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Isn't that <laughs> yeah. wild? Isn't that funny? You know, I, have a, I, have a, I have a theory. I have a theory that you have to remain calm. So, like, a lot of people start running, it's and fair. I think it expedites the process. Yeah, you can't of, run. You so, can't I will run. just slowly, I just de- take deep breaths, and I try to walk at the same pace that I normally do. I got, like, three flights of stairs to go up to get to my apartment. And it was, it was, it, I just kept talking to myself the whole way. I was like, you're one step closer, you're two steps closer, and then by the time you get in, that's it. But some people try to run. Some Yo, people let me try ask to... you this. When when's the last time you sharded? <laughs> I sharded? When's the last time you sharded? It's been a while, man. Has it really? <laughs> yeah, I, I I actually am pretty pretty happy with the control I have. I think it happened. I think it happened once on a Bada sports trip, like it, at Quail. I think it happened. So not I that tried long. to rip a fart and it was it was it came with a little residue. It was not ideal at all. I just my last shark was it when we uh collabed with the Buster Jack guys. Remember early on? Oh, was it bad? Oh, it was terrible. I talked I talked to you about it. It was awful. <laughs> no, but I'm saying was it like as bad as anticipated? Yeah, I mean I, I feel like nowadays we're at the age where all sharks come from what we thought were farts. <laughs> yeah. We're not like you know what I mean? That's where the shark comes so from. So you had to play yeah. another like five holes of golf. Yeah, why do you think I played so bad? 
<laughs> Bob looked and smelled like shit that day. <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks, Joey Day. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. All right, folks. Joey Colcuts here. Wanted to take a brief moment to interrupt today's podcast to let you know that golf's fourth and final major is going down this week. How can you not be excited for that? Here's what I need you to do, golf fans. I need you to join the action from the first drive to the final hole with the DraftKings Sportsbook. This week, we're offering all new customers who make a $5 golf bet to score $150 in bonus bets. That's correct. $150 in bonus bets instantly. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? You really can't. Here's what you need to do. Don't miss the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use our code DUMB. That's D-U-M-B, promo code DUMB. So all new customers, once again, who place a $5 bet on golf and score $150 in bonus bets. The time is now, folks. There's never been a better time. You got to join in on the action. You got to get ready. Golf's last major of the year. Don't miss out. <laughs> what did the look? What did the looks have to? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, here's the deal. Uh, we got to get into it, and I'm going to give Joey D the floor because we have what we are now calling what the people, not me, are referring to, but what the people are calling Lackergate based off of Brian Erlacher. This Joey D on last week's podcast talked about running into Brian Erlacher in Lake yep. Tahoe, who is Mikey V's number one bear source. He may tell you no. Mikey V, no, without he's not a bear question, no, that is that's not accurate, Bob. As, uh, as, if you're going to give the as accurate big, story, as a he, big, as a big, no, big it's not Mike. It's it's not Erlacher. It's it's uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Brown. Yeah, Alex, Alex Brown. I think so, it's Erlacher wants regardless. nothing to do with. It. Regardless, regardless. Okay. Erlacher is is Mikey V's guys, and when yes, you think about accurate. the Chicago Bears, you think about Erlacher and that 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 relationship for him. That's a key. That's a key relationship. That's like my Volpe relationship. But safe to say, yeah, it's a well. I mean, you know, Joey uh, D. I mean, Volpe's got a long way to go to be the Brian Erlacher. Right, the right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 You're right. talking about a first ballot Hall of Famer, Bob. That's right. Okay. But 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 that's his guy. So Joey D. alludes to meeting Brian Erlacher, mentioning. Bear down, Mikey V, and getting stone pretty much stonewalled from him to where yeah, the Mike, give me nothing. Give me the, nothing. He gave so he stands. So he so Joey D. How could gonna, you still say that still knowing the video, it. knowing what Bob's about to say to you? How could so, you still say that? I I maintain <laughs> hold on, hold what on. I said. Hold on, fellas, just hold on. <laughs> He's gonna stick to it. I, by the way, I was so excited to see how he goes about it, and I had a feeling he was gonna stick to his guns. Uh, now, yeah, a hundred percent. Mikey V 100%. doing what Mikey V does. Digs deep to the exact time. I, number one. You tell him. I, I, I did not find that. Someone sent me that on Twitter. The one of the voiceless found it. Sent it on Twitter. I have the tweet. So oh, I yeah. didn't find shit. He created now, a burner Joe account and, I, and then you know, sent himself the tweet. Joe is still, he, he, you know, people find it amazing that someone with as small a following as I have compared to the juggernauts that are on Whoa, the that's uh, not, podcast here. On. That's that, not that, that's 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 still put in this kind of work. Individuals in my camp that put, still put in this kind of work. So anyway, <laughs> guy sends me the video of the irony is a year ago to the date at the last time we recorded a podcast when I was on vacation with the flag <laughs> beach setup, And Joey D's rendition of that story was completely opposite of what he told this past week. Now he's still sitting here saying, yeah, it's, it, it, this is, that's exactly what happened. But the videotape of what you described in the podcast a year ago, Joe, is completely contradictory to what you're saying now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play the clip. So I want to get to play first the clip from last week of Joey D talking about it. And then we're going to go ahead and play from two years ago. It's the exact same date Mikey V is on the beach. And it is an entirely different tone of that story. We're going to play it. And then we're going to give Joey D the floor here. Hold on here, fellas. I saw him last year. I was okay. in, I was in the I was in Harrah's the casino. He walked by and I was like, "Hey, Brian." He like looked at me like, "Do I know you?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm friends with Mikey V." And he's like, 
Oh, okay. Like that scene. <laughs> but Erlacher was out there, Mikey B. I said hi to him. He I said hi like, to him in the high in the high limit room, and I told him I he didn't know, and then I was like, "Hey, I'm a friend of Mikey V's," and all of a sudden he looked over and he's like, "Oh, what's up?" And I was like, "We were supposed to do a podcast with you the other day," and he's like, "My man, he was super nice." <laughs> all right. So we so we are. <laughs> I mean, it is the irony that it's at the exact same date and he's at the beach and it's too... It's really, it's oh, really a bad look, said, Joe. It's a it's bad look. Right. It's, it's not, not a bad look. look. It's not a bad yeah, look. Yeah, it's it is, right. Joe. We got it. We got it. You, you haven't even get... asked me. You haven't even asked me my side of the story. You got to get him the floor. What could it's it the possibly right... be? What could your side be? The, the side is, is that I didn't have the heart to tell you that Erlacher oh. gave me nothing. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> and now you know what now i'd write it to you short and sweet mikey because i know you a lot better than i did now yeah back then well listen if that's the case that's the case uh I, do i believe that not necessarily man texts me uh <laughs> on a regular basis so i find that just a little bit well hard to you believe. have to say that our friendship has been hard to believe our friendship has evolved a lot this time last year i had only been on the podcast for like a, not even that many months I probably came on starting to do the podcast that like early in 2022. No, uh, uh, no, I think well before. No, that. when? I th I think well before that. Uh, now, Mikey, I, I, do you? Bob, do you I'm agree? asking. Do you know when I came on? When I first started coming on the pod? Nah, I wouldn't be the guy to ask. My point is, is that I know Mikey V now so much more than I knew him over a year ago. Like I, I'm not, you know, I, I, and I'll take liberties now that I never would have taken in the past. That's the <laughs> okay. bottom line. Okay. Sometimes some might say too many liberties, Bobby boy. <laughs> Mikey, I mean, uh, I, I, do you, do you think that that your friendship has evolved to where that is a possibility where maybe Joey D was doing this to protect you? I do protect no. my friend. <laughs> no, no, I don't. But I, I mean, listen, he gave I, me nothing. I'm telling you, you call him up. He wouldn't even didn't, remember. I'm me. just saying it sounded like it didn't sound that way from when the way you described it, it oh. did not sound that way. Oh, the two, the, the that is true. The two totally different things. It's two totally different things. Yeah. It's just a matter of if, if that was the case, but do you think that the friendship has, has evolved though? Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, <laughs> Joe, would, Joe, I would say let, that we, Joe, I would let him say that. Answer. The question are is not all, to I mean, you, Joe. I mean, the question I think is not that, to you. I think we're all a, a lot closer than we were. I mean, come on. We spend a, a, a ridiculous, I mean, you guys more so in person, obviously, but I think we we spend a, an ungodly amount of time communicating with each other. Yes, Joe. I, I just would like to say, though, that we really have to amp up the Gambler's Digest chat. It is. I, I think part of it was Mikey's diet routine and his, and his cleanse. <laughs> Part of it was also like this him pivot being on is the just beach. So, isn't this pivot misplaced? This it's is not a pivot. pivot. It's a I'm pivot. saying the Gambler's Digest has not been very good. The, the group chat's not been very good lately. Because you're talking about how much we talk. We haven't been talking that much. Joe, Boy, frankly, I, I, I'm not happy about it. I would love nothing more than to spend every waking hour of my life being engulfed and encompassed around nonsensical bullshit all day. But unfortunately... I can't do that every day because of my responsibilities in the real world, unfortunately. Now, maybe one day that changes. Maybe wow. it changes. Maybe, maybe we bring it. Him it ain't gonna Bob. take much. Hey. It ain't gonna take much. Maybe, one day it'll change. Bring him to the land However, the, I can promise you this: football season's coming up, and you know, with football will come will come the 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 hours the and blocks of degeneracy. Of the, now, I mean, we hope to get couch Joe and couch Bob. Uh, Often during football season, I gotta be better. Everyone has everyone has engagements, and I fully understand that. And the, uh, we will get there. We will we will be back. We I think so back. too. I think so too. And let's not forget about my promise. We'd be a top hundred on the charts. We accomplished that 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 promise from from last year's New Year's Eve promise. Promise. And um, the next one after that was Mikey V on board with the boys full time, so that Gambler's Digest could uh -huh. be rock and roll. And and look, I stand by that. And and Joey D, I don't want to pat myself on the back, but that's exactly what I'm going to do here. <laughs> have, have I ever made a promise to you regarding um this career 
I'm not. I'm not doubting the promise. I'm no, just I know. I know you're not. But that's the, what I'm saying. Why the for, chat is for the not followers? As... No, I know that for the followers to be excited about. I'll, I'll tell you me. what, Bob might be a lot of things, but he ain't a false promiser. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Who called him a false promiser? No, I'm nobody's just, I'm answering it's his for the question. people to get excited about. Oh, it's oh, the, oh! The followers. You, it's not on you. No, Keep going, Joe. Pump my tires. Um, what, what are we doing? Bob here? delivers. He's uh, Bob delivers. He's like Amazon Prime. <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, There's no a lot of a lot of banter um prior to the show here and I like that. And I like that a lot, but let's get into our buy or sell um segment of the week and and let's go ahead let's start with Joey D. Let's see what Joey D's got for us here. Wow, I I got to be honest. I I can't we have to pause. We have to pause. You have to shit? Nope. I have some insider information on the Erlacher controversy. That I just received from a first-hand <laughs> knowledgeable just source. I, from I another just member of the voice. Hold on, hold no, on. Not, not from a member of the voice list. Someone from the Bob Does Sports Camp has a little information on the Erlacher. And now Joe's getting a little nervous. Wait, there. No, I'm, I'm not nervous. Said, hold on here. Hold on I here. was there. If you're I alluding to Brez, Brez was so quote, drunk he didn't know what was going on. Quote. I was there with the Erlacher Exchange last year. Oh. He knew you, and it turned into a conversation, however short, end quote, Nicholas Stubby. Oh! Yeah, I mean, Hold the phone. No, now Here Joe is going to say that the video's wrong. A, fr- no. a person who was I'm there saying first, lying. first of all, let's call a spade for what a spade is. Now you're going to blame him so being drunk. hammered. He didn't know where he was. Right. He could have been right. talking. Now we, fucking... we see now where this is, Bob. We see where this is. <laughs> yeah, this I'd like to move on now. I'd like to move on. I but that's critical. I, go ahead. Go ahead, I Joe. I think that this is slander. Go ahead. You know? Joe was mid-sentence. Go ahead, Joe. I, 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 re- I remain... What I said, Erlacher was there. We walked by the, the 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 high limit room. I said, oh, hey, how's it going? He looked at me very perturbed. Like, why is this individual talking to me? I but would have he, done the same. He seemed respectful enough. He kind of looked. I was like, oh, I'm friends with my TV. And he looked again. Still nothing. Then I said, oh, uh, you know, bear down, bear down, cuz. And he goes, oh. And then he looked at me said have a nice evening and proceeded <laughs> to walk off if that is a conversation you well, can bring perez on here right all now all i'm saying is let, 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 but perez 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 <laughs> can you come can you come up to the stage there here, was please? no conversation no no we should call him up he's here we should at least have the conversation yep. with him yep can i'm get, saying there's no conversation with brian can we there's no conversation with perez up please this is outrageous. I can't believe. No, I think FP. we should, but I think we. It, look, FP didn't big... know what room he was in. He was so what? hammered. Oh. Where is he? I can't hear I him. Know. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. This guy Nicholas had no idea what was going Leland on. Elin Stupy Perez. Oh, well, there he is. There he is. Okay. Oh. <laughs> he was drunk. drunk. That's I the first thing he said. I was drunk. That's true. But I, I mean, that's exactly neither here nor there. there. I mean, <laughs> that that's, is that's just there. life. No, it's not. The very, guy's been drunk. I remember, I've seen I remember him exactly perform open heart surgery. Where drunk. it was, it was right behind that one blackjack table towards yes. the back of the room. He yes. was wearing a blue button-down short sleeve, very light remember. shirt. Yes, yes, like this. a baby blue, baby yes, blue. It was. I remember yes. that he came up. He was sort of trying to get somewhere, so it was a very quick conversation. But he absolutely knew who Vicky V was. He was like, "Oh yeah, I love Mikey V." You, you know, and then and he went oh, off. That's but a no, big difference no, in that story. What, and this is what I said happened, Perez. I said, I said, hey, what's up? He looked at me perturbed. Like, why is this guy talking to me? Then, he, But he was respectful. And then he was like, oh, hey. And then I was like, I know Mikey V. And he didn't know. And then I said, oh, you know, bear down cuz. And he looked at me. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, well, have a nice night. And walked away. We didn't I, talk I mean, to him at all. I don't, I can't tell you how he looked at you. But. There was definitely an acknowledgement of knowing Mikey V, and and but it was very quick. He was going somewhere. He wasn't going to have a conversation about Perez, how, how do you know needed. Mike? How that's do I know Mike? Needed. That's all we needed. Thank you. Yeah. The pre- the pretzel's officially been fucking twisted. <laughs> I heard. I mean, I, I saw the clip from last year. That's how I remember it. It was it was very yeah. short and sweet and very. Thank wow. you. So, Is that I'm gonna go back to drinking my root beer and rubbing my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there you there you have it. <laughs> That Perez. So to say that we had a conversation is, is he said it, he said it he acknowledged it was a short conversation, however short. But I his think... recollection is what your recollection was last year on the beach. No, so his isn't... story matches your story. <laughs> I just what said the story. What are you talking about, Joe? I just said the story. 
Bob, we gotta we gotta move on. You gotta move on. I just said the story. All right, all right, all right. Maybe he was acknowledging simply for the fact that he didn't want to continue the conversation. Maybe that's what it was. Perhaps guy, I, face, I, guy, face, guy literally I, FaceTimes my dad for his birthday every year now. But but yeah, so here's, not, the, here's the sack of shit you're being sold by I, the Mikey, bar down Can there. I can I say something? I'm no. not saying you don't know the guy. Clearly, you know him. That's you not, message him. Right, my right. point is that. You're not, maybe you're not as buddy buddy with him as it seems. Otherwise, he would have given me a little more <laughs> when I recognized. He didn't. Him. Maybe he didn't want to give you a little more because he fucking didn't like you. Maybe that's what it was. That's maybe fun. he's like, I don't like. Must have known. He must have known I was a Packers fan. Yeah, he must have known. Well, you know what? He he's not the biggest fan of the Bears anymore. So that's not really a big. Oh, a big we could have used him on the Packers. We could have really used him. I just Packers. say that. Um. I I I love this show so much. I, I really do. It's yeah, no terrific. shit, Bob. Because you're sitting I love you back both. in the because Bob's sitting back in the cut. The the fucking circus ringmaster sitting back in the cut, watching two of his prized lions do <laughs> battle in the middle of the fucking circle. Okay, that's exactly what's happening here, and the audience is going wild. And Bob's there in his tuxedo with the long tails with the whip, just fucking going like <laughs> this. <laughs> People are throwing popcorn and shit. It's but, a circus. Um, or we can move on, Bob. Okay. Buy and sell, or by buy way, or sell. By the way, I'm not going to say who it was, but we were in Lake Tahoe, and everybody was there. We're at the bar, and we're with the guy who knows Aaron Rodgers very well, and we were talking about whether or not he knows Bob the sports. So we say to the guy, we're like, text him. Like, text him. See if he knows Bob the sports. He goes, oh, he, he has to know you. So he, he messages Rodgers, and he goes, uh, do you know Bob the sports? And Rodgers, so he there's like, no minute response. And period. We're just, we're all just like around watching the phone get ready, and all of a sudden, so like a minute goes by, and then you just see the three dots go. He goes, oh. "This is word for word, never heard of him." I'm going. Oh no, no, it was it was nope. Period. I'm about to pass out. It was word. Why for is word. his story different from every I, story? I promise you, on everything that is holy, I have. I will never forget that text message, <laughs> Bob. I, it said, <laughs> "It said nope." You can get a copy. You can. Me- it said no period. I'm about to pass out. That's okay. what it's well, yeah, same, same. It was same. still terrible. It yeah, was I mean, regardless, but yeah, no, just not just stonewalled. Stonewalled. Yeah, that's um, all right. Um, we're not all right. we're not at Rogers level yet. That's that's okay. So far that's, from it. So far from it. I mean, it. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Some of the I mean, apparently we're not at Erlacher's like... level either. <laughs> I mean, Erlacher, Erlacher, absolutely. We're on Erlacher. So there's not a question about that. Okay, okay. Erlacher, now we should have we should have Erlacher on. He's welcome on the program anytime. By the way, um, let's get into our buy or sell segment. Um, Joey D, buy or sell. I mean, this is going to tie into what I I talked about earlier about almost shitting myself. I can't believe that 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 actual places still sell single ply toilet paper. It is the worst invention Itself. known to men to the point where you have to literally roll probably a quarter of a roll at a time and fold it four to five times in order to make sure a there's no residue on the finger, on the hand that there's not no tearing. Why the fuck did I, I, I placed an order the other day on DoorDash for toilet paper because I was in a bind <laughs> and they, I put in Charmin double ply and they somehow <laughs> sent me this Scott's shitty <laughs> single ply toilet paper. And I tell you what, man, I'm ready. I have like eight more rolls of this shit and I'm ready just to throw it. Joe, in let, the Joe, let me, it's a, it's a good sell. It's a good sell. But let me it's ask you sell. this. What did it you... is a great sell. Why would you save money on toilet paper? No. Get an extra layer in but there. But, Joe, here, here's what I got to ask. What did you have going on to where you couldn't go out to the store Stick. and and get, and get your he, own We door. had to go out somewhere. There was a bunch of stuff happening. I didn't have a moment to go out. I put a, an express delivery from the convenience store closest to me, the CVS. It was like a 15-minute 15, 15 delivery. And I put... I'm a big Charmin guy. I like the bears. I like the double ply. I like all of it. I put Charmin in and I, I made sure that if I didn't get Charmin, I think I put another one as a secondary order, but they gave me a fucking single ply. And this stuff is yes. My duty. Now go finish. Oh, I thought you were asked. I thought you were. No, 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 no. Well, my point is, it's just channel. like, don't save money on toilet paper. There's a lot of things you can save money on cleaners, 
different shit for the house. Toilet paper is sacred. And and God forbid, if I had people over, I would not I would never put that stuff out. Because it is just a slap to the face. That's the kind of stuff I expect if I go into like a, a shopping mall like Larry bathroom. David, like Larry or, David said, that's the only place one ply toilet paper belongs is on a whaling vessel. That's what he said. <laughs> that's the kind of toilet paper you find on like a whaling vessel. Oh uh, no, but like you normally find it in like an airport or like a shopping mall because they save money by buying yeah, this shit in right, bulk. Right. But for your home, man, don't do it. It just it's there's no place for the yeah. single ply. I I I, I'm out. I I think it's a good sell. I really do. I think it's good. Do you remember when Joey D had to do that DraftKings ad and he uh he door dashed the football? So he, yeah. he it was a basketball ball. It was a basketball. Yeah. 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 That was March funny. Madness. Right around the corner, folks. He post made yeah. it. No up. better time than to join in on all the action. Yeah. Than with post, your DraftKings friends. He post made it a, a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> He bought I was like on a vacation. I bought... basketball too. He bought like an authentic one of the Wilson. I bought a Wilson. Yeah, yeah. yeah um. Yeah. All right. I I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna do a buy. Um. And we were just there, but I think it's really really cool because it's different than any of these like random tournaments. That ACC championship tournament they have, where they have all these celebrities come and they play a competitive three days of golf. It is so much fun to watch these different – like, like I'd prefer to go to that tournament and watch all these different celebrities come through. They had CC Sabathia there. They had all these people, guys with the ability to shank a ball on a whim's notice. A ball could go flying into the stands. It's so much fun to watch the different groups and watch regular golfers, and a lot of these guys are good, but with the ability to shank a ball – and all of that, it's so much more fun than going to like a PGA Tour event, as much as I do like going to those. I just think it, you you keep your head on a swivel. It's fun to see these different guys in that element. Steph Curry, Miles Teller, um, Aaron Rodgers, all these guys to watch them play. Charles That's why Barkley. I enjoy like the match that they do um, because they're not pro golfs and it makes it so much fun um, to watch. So I'm buying that ACC championship. I thought it was... I, it, it's a blast. And by the way, Steph Curry, to not just hit a hole in one, but to hit a hole in one on, on that stage, this guy is unbelievable. Everything, yeah. it, it's amazing what he's able to do. I'm buying the ACC championship. I wish you would have bought it last year and came when I caddied, Bob. That would have been nice. I would have, yeah. I mean, look, I would have liked to, too. I know I was coming. It was the tail end of a Euro trip. And 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 I, um, you I'm know, not upset with you. I, I understood, but. Bob saw it in all in all of its glory this year, and I think if Bob had been there last year, the the content that we would have had oh. would have been phenomenal. Because I, I brought Perez to get some of the content, but he was getting so messed up every night that we, you know, when, when our morning rounds were basically a write off. <laughs> didn't he? Didn't Perez? Didn't Perez? He, he showed up to... on the fifteenth hole with the cookie. <laughs> Meanwhile, I needed a bit of content to provide Corona with, but he had <laughs> a cookie for me. Fair God down, love man. him. Like if you, we were we were leaving to go to go through the we had to leave to catch the early flight to go home from Lake Tahoe and Perez didn't want to go on that early flight because he knew he wouldn't be able to wake up so he did like <laughs> that night so we go down to the hotel lobby at five in the morning five thirty five thirty in the morning we go down to the lobby and we're getting ready to walk out the door sure as shit coming through the doors at five thirty in the morning. Perez, <laughs> Perez comes stumbling through the hotel doors. I had to watch. It looked like he was on skates. He was going down. <laughs> By the way, he doesn't recall it. He doesn't recall seeing us. He doesn't recall any of that. He was one step away from going down. So we had to Uber wait, and I had to make sure that he got to the elevator. He was going to go down. And had it been any other time than that early, I would have had the presence of mind to get the phone out because he was going to go down. It was like, you know, a fighter who's a little bit woozy and it's a matter of time till they hit the canvas. <laughs> he he was getting ready. He was woozy, dude. And he was getting ready to hit that canvas. It would have been unbelievable. Did you ask him who he was out with till that late? It's a long, it's a long story. He oh, it's boy. it's yeah. Oh boy. It's a long story. Um, <laughs> and you know who got a kick out of him was Mike Vrabel, which was one of the funniest connections I've ever seen. Vrabel was was fascinated with Perez. He he really was. He it was a riot to watch. Um, that's what I'm buying. Mikey V, buy or sell. 
Yeah, I was gonna tail right off of Joe's. I'm I'm selling this week, but in, in response to the toilet paper, I'm gonna buy. And every parent knows this. Everybody with a with a with a child who's had children knows wet this. Wipes. Is the, is the wipes the wipes having wipes at your disposal 24 hours a day, 365 with little kids. Those wipes, and they're not just for your ass. You could use those wipes if you're sweaty, if you're smelly, your hands are dirty, your feet. Fucking anything. Those wipes are are such Have you an used ultimate... them before though? I've never used them. Oh, I'm dear, with you. I'm just dear. putting my charger in, but I'm like, like, I'm enjoying this. Keep it going. I'm just putting my charger it's... in. I'm in, I'm enjoying this. I'm why does that get why can't I just go put my fucking show? Like, why does that get a thing? We're in the middle of a podcast, Bob. Says the guy who's got a bet on a raise Royals over in the middle of July, you sicko. Good bet. I bet you'll see a bunch more comments about that than you will about the charger. Anyway, uh, the wipes are a godsend, Joe. They're they're a total game changer. But, it's like it's like having your but does ass it not feel by weird? Charts. Like no, <laughs> no. I no. feel like it's like getting like it's like getting on a my bidet. Ass, it's like using scary. a bidet. It's like using a bidet. I gotta try this. It's unbelievable. Now you just don't. Now, flush is there a brand them. You don't flush like... them. Oh, you don't. You don't. Flush no, them. you can't flush them. No. See, that's dirty. Then you got to Now they make them. They scene. make ones. Now, I'm talking about the baby wipes. You can't flush baby wipes. They make What about like wipes. the dude wipes? Yeah, they make ones that you could flush one at a time. But I'm telling you it's really even that is really bad for your plumbing. Like any plumber will tell you don't do it. Like don't flush it down the fucking toilet cuz they'll just get lodged at the bottom. Yeah. Now, I'm I, really though I'm I'm I really wanted to sell this week and I'm selling cuz I saw the Yankees the Yankees were the first, uh, not the first, but I saw that the Yankees were going to start incorporating a corporate sponsorship on their on their uniform, on their on their uniforms. Sell away, with the, baby. Pa- with the patch. And Sell away. let me tell you something, man. You know, there's certain things in life that are just sacred and a sports team uniform, especially storied franchises like the New York Yankees, the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, you know, the Dallas Cowboys. Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers, Chicago Bears, New York Giants, you know, royalty franchises, flagship franchises. The, the, for you to start bastardizing these uniforms with, like, is it really that, what in the world, how much money do you need as an organization to okay something like that onto the, onto the jersey? It's one of the reasons, honestly, that, not that I dislike international soccer. I love watching AC Milan and I love watching uh, Paris Saint-Germain. I love watching uh, Liverpool, Chelsea. I love watching all that. But the jerseys, I would never buy one because they got fucking brands all over. It's just ugly like Juventus. I love nice. Juventus. I hate, I would never buy a jersey with Jeep written all over. Let me tell like, you, it's George. It's horrible. If anything, the Yankees should be the last ones to oh. do it. If George oh. Steinbrenner knew, and you know what bothers me with the Yankees right now, I know people don't want to hear just me just talk about the Yankees, but I do want to say, you know, even the Gamblers Digest, right? It, what we have, Mikey V, is when football goes away, what me and you can always rely on is the Yankees. We always we that's our bond. We have that, and yeah. because of how much they stink right now, we don't have that. And the same thing goes even with me and my dad. I love talking about the Yankees and they just stink and they're uh, they're old it's going to be the same thing they might make the playoffs but they're not going to go far no, and that Joe is part of the reason Gambler's Digest is dead too usually me and Mikey have the Yankees where I can't watch the screen because they're playing the Red Sox and they're in a jam and I can't watch so Mikey V's talking me through the inning I really miss that and it, it's just it, it's just lousy it's just really lousy and I know nobody feels bad for me because it's the Yankees and I, I get it. I get that. You shouldn't feel bad for me, but it's very upsetting. What is the, uh, the jersey sponsor? The, it's a, it was an it's an Star? insurance company, I think. Star Insurance or some shit oh, like that. God, it's bad, just horrible. Bad it's just, look, it's just ugly. It's just it's. Wait, it's, is it on the sleeve? sleeve? On the sleeve, yeah, yeah. On oh, the that's sleeve. not terrible. That's not no, too bad. Oh, I, yeah, I, it, it takes me. It, it. I will say, you know, and Christian Pelusic. Uh, Captain America was in for Mikey V's eating challenge, and I'd hang hung out with him in Jupiter. I had no idea who he was prior to hanging with him, and I do want to get into soccer a little bit to some degree. When we we're going to Europe next month, Joe, I I would like to see a soccer game just to experience something like that. Oh, it's wild! Have you wild. been, Mikey? 
I haven't been, but I could tell you now I've watched the documentaries on hooliganism and, and, and what it means out there to go to one of these games. That's a different, well, that's a different, Scotland. different, different level. I, different I would level. be very Scotland, curious. You should go. Major you should go. They're Celtic and Rangers. Those are the two major teams. Yeah, Celtic is a big Scottish team. Celtic league. is a big, you should go. You should, you should I do that. I would love, I 100%. would like to check it out. I, I really would. The thing I do worry about is, um, is the food in Europe. I, I, I got a feeling I'm not going to love. Yeah, well, if you're going oh, to Scotland, please. you're going to be eating a lot of haggis. What is haggis? <laughs> it's not good, I can tell you. Really? That. Yeah, it's not up my alley. Not up my alley. You'll be fine, Bob. Don't you worry. You go to Italy, you know you're good. You go to Spain, oh, you know you're I good. Mean, you go to yes. Greece, Italy was, you know you're good. Italy is more than good. You're better off than back yeah, home. Yeah, for, yeah. But, but like yeah. the, um, you know, England and stuff like that, they're they're not really known for their food, right? No, they're not. England or fish and chips. I'm, like I'm better off going to New rolls. Jersey. No, oh, well, you're, I mean, not like, I mean, you can't go wrong with the food around here. That's for sure. Yeah. And food, food around here don't miss. So no. that's one thing we do right in North Jersey food. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, fellas, what do you say we go into our top five now? Mm-hmm. We went through our so. buyer cells. Okay. It's been a fantastic episode. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, this today's top five is, is brought to you um, on behalf of, of Mikey V. Um, so Mikey V, why don't you tell the folks what we're going to be doing here today? And then you could start us off with the top five. Top five best beach snacks. Obviously just came off the beach, a little advantage there, but top five best beach snacks, snacks that you like to take on a hot day to the beach. Mikey V. Number five. I'm going to go with chips and dip. I think chips and dip are, are, are a very solid play at the beach. The dip, you go with like a dill, Cool Ranch, something like that. A very light, refreshing dip. Number four, chicken fingers and fries. You go to any of these huts on the beach that sell snacks. Chicken fingers or French fries is like one of the big time snacks that you'll see people uh, toting around on the beach. Now, you guys are giving me a face. What's the problem here? What's I got an issue. I don't know okay. if you do, Joe. I, I certainly have an issue. What's the problem? It's First off, the chips and dip is more than one thing. And I'm okay I, with chips and dip. I'm I okay asked for sandwiches and he denied sandwiches. Chicken me, fingers, absolutely. Chicken not fingers true. and fries. We're gonna that's allow a meal. Chicken. That's not a snack. And it's two different things. I mean, that's crazy. Yes. <laughs> no, because Mikey V is a heavy favorite to 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 win this top five coming off the beach, but. Yeah, I mean, how could you allow chicken fingers and fries? There's no way. I tell you what, I ain't got no chicken fingers and fries on my list. No, no, I, I, I don't think we can. Okay, so of... scrap the chicken fingers and fries. It's fine. Okay, <laughs> just scrap it from the record. No, no. <laughs> it scares me. I, I think there might be a day where Mikey V just goes off and then just leaves this podcast and is doing like an NFL insider show. <laughs> that frightens. Me. That frightens me because I think he's sick of our shit. So do it with that other Bears what, guy. Are you Who's sick of us, Mikey? No. What? Not. Are you sick of us? No. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say sick. I wouldn't oh, you say love sick. Him. He, he just needs a break. People need to understand how close we are. It's it's very much a brotherhood. We're we're very yeah, very is. close. So we go at each other. It's it's because we're brothers. Now, with that being said, no fucking way am I allowing chicken fingers and fries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but <laughs> but new one, Mikey. Give me ice pops at number four. Sure. Okay. Sure. Ice I'm, pops I'm, at number four. Give me at three ice cream bars at number three. I want ice cream bars. I'm talking about like, uh, you know, like the ice cream truck bars, like something yes. you could grab from there, whether whatever it is. Give me ice cream bar. Number two. Am I on two? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number two, I'm going to go with. Shit, I gotta see what I'm doing here now. Number two, go ahead and book me down for Oof. this is bad. This is bad. Chicken now. fingers sent him for a spiral. Yeah, it did. Bob. It really, it really did. <laughs> Can I go with just fries? Are fries Yeah, I would allow snack? fries. I yeah. would allow fries. Yeah. Give me give me fries with ketchup. Give me fries yes. with ketchup at two. Here's the thing about fries, though, as any experienced beachgoer knows, you're going to be doing a lot of you're going to be playing a lot of prevent defense against the seagulls when you got fries. Oh. Yeah, yeah, a lot of prevent defense. But you know fries. what? 
Fries on the beach do hit though, man. Salty with the ketchup is is nice. Cold ketchup. Oh, is with you the come ketchup. The it Are really you is. Serious? It's a nice Mr. play. Nessler. And then uh, oh. uh, number one though, I think the king of of beach snacks. I really do is fresh fruit. Uh, whether it be watermelon, whether it be cherries, whether it be uh, you know peaches, nectarines, plums, anything like that. A fresh fresh fruit. Fresh cold fruit in your cooler. You can't go wrong. I would go Joe, fresh fruit. At Joey moment. D has his hand up. Joey D. I I don't know what to do here now because like Mikey V just grouped all fruit together, but I actually have a specific fruit. And now on my fruit, I mean, if you want a specific bags. fruit, we should have just done beach fruit I, I, because I, you could just go five I, fucking fruit. I'll I'm give in you five the fruit off the and, and you know what? I um even I don't like, know what to do now. Even I don't my know, chip. And I'm not trying to, to, to fuck Mikey no, over. Oh, I get it. I, get I think it. you got to pick a, sing, a, a a type of fruit. I agree. I, 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 Mikey, I'm not I know, trying to be, I'm not trying to be, I know it yet. might seem like we're being hard on you. I get that, but, but we're not, we're, we're really not. I, I, first of all, let me say something to you right now. <laughs> let me say something to you. You are never hard on me. Do you understand what I'm saying, Bob? You're not hard on me. Okay. No, but my you know children what I mean. might you know be hard I'm... on me. My wife may be hard on me. You aren't hard on me. Okay. <laughs> you don't like the play. It got outvoted. I'm a man. Fine. I'll pick a single fucking fruit. Sliced watermelon. <laughs> there you go. Sliced that's, watermelon. That's the right that's play. Fruit. That's you, good, Mikey. That's a great I, I got fruit. That fruit. Very good, I, I, Mikey, Mikey. I think that's really Very good. good. I think that's really <laughs> good. But yeah, you great. understand where we're coming from, right? Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. At number five, I got steak and frites. I got <laughs> you know, with a little bit of a Bernay sauce on top. Yeah, there, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, Definitely all right. not the worst podcast this week. I'm in. I'm in for. It's been a great show. It's been a great show. Uh, Mikey, would you agree? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, number five, go ahead. You can lock me in for Oreos. I got Oreos mm, at five. That's good, um, Bob. Easy to bring, easy to carry, easy to carry with. Uh, I got Oreos at five. Mike, you'd be so pissed right now, dude. He's so pissed. <laughs> I hear Perez laughing too in the living room. I hear him. You know? uh, number four. Number four, I got goldfish. I think it's iconic oh. snack on, on the beach. I got goldfish at four. Um, number three, you could go ahead and lock me in. I put ice pops at three. I didn't know if you wanted specific ice pops. When ice pops at three, number two, you could go ahead and lock me in for Doritos. Big Doritos guy, iconic snack. You don't like it, Mikey? It's fine, Bob. <laughs> yeah, Mikey, stop. Mikey, don't do this. Mike, come on, Mikey. He's been body bagged. Mikey. Let's fucking give the top five. Let's all go. Right, all right, all right. And then uh, number one's watermelon. Wow. Whoa, whoa. Look you think it. I stole your number one, Mikey? <laughs> you think I stole your number one? <laughs> come on, bro. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? The huge uproar about how I couldn't say fruit. Guy has one fucking fruit on his list. Why do two? You said you had multiple, and that I, was the I, reason you were. Pissed. I have two different. I have two different fruits. Your, wait, your story but, fucking but changed Joe, you more just than said, I, my underwear. Wait, but Joe, you just I said have you had two me. different fruits. I'm saying I had watermelon on my list as well. Is what I'm saying. Okay, all right, Joey D, take it away. I feel like I've been misunderstood this whole episode. All right, I'm gonna start at number five. <laughs> On number five, I'm going to start with trail mix. A little good trail mix at the beach. Um, easy to dip your hands into, a lot of variety. Very good. Trail mix at number five. At number four, I'm going to go with chips and salsa. Like you could go pico de gallo salsa, whatever you want, whatever your variation is. Tortilla chips and some variation of salsa. Very good. The whole crew can get into it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Joe. Go ahead. Number three, I've got watermelon. Refreshing, delicious. Give me the seedless watermelon for the win, too. I hate that. I hate the black seeds. I like the I like the seedless organic watermelon. Number two, I'm going ice cream bars. And when I say ice cream bars, I like the um, those are like the ones like the SpongeBob's or like the Spider-Man ones that they sell on the beach. 
those things hit hard. They're they're fucking fantastic. The SpongeBob one, bear down. If you never had it, the 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 eyeballs are like gumdrops. So you have a little snack post game ice cream bar. <laughs> the real heady play from the maker. We got to wrap this up. And then number one, I'm not even finished my top five. I was blind for yours. But I, I think I, this I, is I, a good episode. Until you gave me chicken fingers and fries. Go ahead, Joe. Number, number one, one, I'm going to give something neither of you guys gave, and I think it's a game changer. I'm going to go. Jerky. Frozen grapes at number one are some of the best snacks you'll ever have. And they're refreshing. They're cool. They're delicious. They're easy to pack. Frozen grapes at number one for the win. Mikey V, any issue? No. Nope. Nope. Hope I lose that. I, I really, I hope I come in third place in this top five. Honorable well, mention. I, I got chips and dip. I do. Okay. <laughs> Mikey v, honorable, honorable, mention. honorable mention. You can give me a peach. All right. Peach. I'll go with honorable mention. I'll go goldfish. I think that was a great play. And I, I, I think that they deserve to be up on that list as well. Okay. Well, look, here's the deal. Um, I, I, I do, uh, just want to say how much I appreciate you boys. And I think this has been a terrific, terrific podcast. More, go ahead, Joe. More views than last week or no? I think more views than last week. I think more <laughs> views. Total collective combined <laughs> views. I think this has more views than last week. Um, I love you boys. And I appreciate you boys. And I, I, I love the Brilliantly Dumb Show like you wouldn't believe. Um, until next time. We will see. That's been another edition of the Burnley Dumb Show. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you over there.